everybody. I am Ginger Wolf and welcome Stripped Finance. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. I am a feature entertainer and stripper not a financial consultant. Please speak to your financial advisor about any financial matters. And with that out of the way. Let's get into the video. Hi everybody, so welcome back to Stripped Finance. Today we are back with another Investopedia article. So I was only really planning on doing one, just like a trial base, right, to see how it went. But I kind of like them. So here we are. The Investopedia series, part two. So this one is called Mortgage-Backed Security. And I promised you a video on it last time, didn't I? Mm-hmm. So, this article is by Julia, I'm going to guess that's pronounced Kagan, if it's not, and I pronounced it wrong, I apologize, I'm sorry, I'm a bit dumb sometimes, I apologize. So, it was reviewed by Anthony, shush, I have plenty of space on my laptop, go away. It was reviewed by Anthony Battle, and fact checked by Pete Rathburn pretty sure I pronounced that correctly. Some people have really weird last names, okay? So, let us begin. But before, you know, by the way, this is Harold. He is my sloth. And he's nice and squishy. And he's going to be helping me today's video because I feel like a poodle. And it's me. Anywhoosie. What is a mortgage-backed security, also known as an MBS? Not that kind of BS. I know what you little, I know what you people are thinking. I'm a child too. Okay, I think it's funny as well. Anyway, what is a mortgage-backed security? A mortgage-backed security, also known as an MBS, is an investment similar to a bond that is made up of a bundle of home loans bought from the bank that issued them. Investors in MBS receive periodic payments similar to bond coupon payments. Don't make fun of the way I say coupon, okay? It's spelled C-O-U. There's no Q there. It's not coupon, it's coupon. So the key takeaways are mortgage-backed securities turn a bank into an intermediary between the home buyer and the investment industry. Basically, that means the bank is the middleman. It's like the mailman, right? He didn't write the letter, and he doesn't receive the letter either. He just kind of delivers it back and forth. Which is why you should not sick your dog on the mailman. Don't do that. Next, the bank handles the loans and then sells them at a discount to be packaged as an MBS to investors as a type of collateralized bond. Basically, they plan on making money on it whether you pay them or not. Next, for the investor, an MBS is as safe as the mortgage loans that back it up. So once again, if the people who have the mortgage don't pay, then it's not really worth much. So, yay for making your house payments. That's important. So, next up is understanding mortgage-backed securities. Let me take a good deep breath here, because this is a thick paragraph, okay? Mortgage-backed securities are variations of asset-based or asset-backed securities that are formed by pulling together mortgages exclusively. The investors who buy a mortgage-backed security is essentially lending money to home buyers. A mortgage-backed security can be bought and sold through a broker. The minimum investment varies between issuers. 
as become glaringly obvious in the subprime mortgage meltdown of 2007 through 2008, a mortgage-backed security is only as sound as the mortgages that back it up. An MBS may also be called a mortgage-related security or a mortgage pass-through. Essentially, the mortgage-backed security turns the bank into an intermediary between the home buyer and the investment industry. A bank can grant mortgages to its customers and then sell them at a discount for inclusion in an MBS. The bank records the sale as a plus on its balance sheet and loses nothing if the home buyer defaults sometime down the road. Basically what that means is they are pushing all of the risk onto the people who buy these securities. Now it's still a bond and most people make their home payments. Okay, I know that I have never missed a home payment in the, I think like four years I've lived here. I've almost paid it off too. Ha ha, you ate the little things. But anywho, so all in all, like on a safety scale of one to ten, I'd put it at like a solid seven, okay? Solid seven. I would give it a higher rating, but you know, we're kind of going into a recession now, so money's going to start getting a little tight here and there. So seven. And while we are, you know, tracking down a rabbit hole, today's video, I would like to promote Candy's Adult Playground. Don't look at my titties. Well, I take that back. Look at my titties. Just don't be obvious about it. Because if your wife's sitting there, she might smack you. Any Lucy. So, Candy's Adult Playground, right? It's one of the best strip clubs I've been to, and I love this place. It's like a second home. Everyone's super nice, and it's just really cool. It's literally as the name describes. It's an adult playground. There are you know, themed rooms that you can get dances in. You can even get a dance in the back of a cop car, which is pretty amusing considering you also get handcuffed and you can get a shirt that says you got handcuffed. Then there's also, you know, naked volleyball too. But it is in Erie, Pennsylvania, and if you live anywhere near that area, definitely go and check them out because it's awesome. I love that place. Now, back to adults, you know back to responsible adult things. This process works for all concerned as everyone does what they're supposed to do. That is, the bank keeps a reasonable standard for granting mortgages, the homeowner keeps paying on time, and the credit rating agencies that review MBS perform due diligence. In order to be sold on the market today, an MBS must be issued by a government-sponsored enterprise, also known as a GSC or a private financial company. The mortgages must have origi originated from a regulated and authorized financial institution and the MBS must have received one of the two top ratings issued by the accredited credit rating agency. Important, they even put that word in like very bold black in a box but what really gets me is like a little lightning bolt, okay? Like Harry Potter kind of lightning bolt. <laughs> Important, mortgage-backed securities loaded up with subprime loans played a central role in the financial crisis that began in 2007 and wiped out trillions of dollars in wealth. Ah, oh, super bummer, okay? Super bummer. Let's just acknowledge that and just keep on going. So there are two common types of MBS pass-throughs and collateralized. Collateralized. That is a that is a mouthful. Collateralized mortgage obligations, also known as a CMO. Pass-throughs are constructed as trusts in which mortgage payments are collected and passed through to investors. They typically have stated maturities of 5, 15, or 30 years. The, lice, mm, yeah, 
the life of a pass-through may be less than the stated maturity depending on the principal payments on the mortgage that make up the pass-through. So basically, the maturity time could be shorter depending on how fast somebody wants to pay them off. Collateralized mortgage obligations. CMOs consist of multiple pools of securities, which are known as slices or tran tranches? Tranches. It's a CHE, so I'm going to guess ch tranches. The tranches are given credit ratings, which determine the rates that are returned to the investors. I'm going to have to do a whole video on that because I've never heard that term before. So, another video. Heck yeah. So, MBS in the financial crisis. I do love history, so this is getting exciting. Mortgage-backed securities played a central role in the financial crisis that began in 2007 and went to wipe out trillions of dollars in wealth, bringing down Lehman, Lehman Brothers, L-E-H-M-A-N, and roiled the world financial market. In retrospect, it seemed inevitable that the rapid increase in home prices and the growing demand for MBS would encourage banks to lower their lending standards and drive consumers to jump into the market at any cost. The crisis was beginning was the beginning of the subprime MBS with Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae aggressively supporting the mortgage market. The quality of all mortgage-backed securities declined and the ratings became meaningless. Then in 2006, housing prices peaked. You know, this video has actually gone on a little bit longer than I thought it would, so let's make this a two-parter. And we'll get back to all of this, the, like, the history aspect of it, on the next time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi guys, I'm Ginger Wolf, and thank you for making it this far into the video. If you have the time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Stripped Finance. So, in the meantime, I believe in you. I know you can do it. Just keep on grinding, okay?